Hello guys, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I am the faculty and solution architect for ServiceNow. In today's session, let me give you the brief introduction about ServiceNow. Before we start working with ServiceNow platform, first of all, you would like to know something about what is ServiceNow, where we can use ServiceNow platform in real-time organization, what are the benefits of ServiceNow. So let me give you the brief one by one. First of all, start with the definition of ServiceNow. What is ServiceNow? ServiceNow is a cloud-based ITSM tool which is used to automate your common business process and one platform can be fulfill all your business needs. When you want to streamline your internal or external learn, so the respective client have to use ITSM tool. It's a mandatory in every business unit. This tool is mainly used to automate your common business process. Try to understand what kind of business process we can automate, what kind of services we can provide through ServiceNow platform. So try to understand one by one. So if you go through my documentation, so what is ServiceNow? I have given many definitions and examples. Sometimes the people are calling as ServiceNow is a ticketing tool. ServiceNow is a ITSM tool. ServiceNow is it's a SaaS based platform. ServiceNow is a PaaS based platform and using by the service desk. But they're calling with different names. But anyone asks the question about ServiceNow, it is a straight answer. ServiceNow is the cloud based ITSM tool which is used to automate common business process and provide different kind of services to your customers. Next one. What do you mean by ITSM? ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management. ServiceNow is cloud-based ITSM tool, right? Every ITSM tool following ITIL standards. What about ITIL? ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. It's a kind of approaches. And following by this all ITIL standards and approaches, we can automate the services through ITSM tool. We have so many ITSM tools in the market, not only ServiceNow, but ServiceNow is became more popular than other platforms. If you talk about other ITSM tools like ServiceNow, BNC Remedy, HPSM, CA Unicenter, Sapphire, Yuanti, Jira, many more. But BMC Remedy is very good competitor to service now, but not right now. Five years ago, almost 60% clients used BMC Remedy. At that moment, only 40% clients used service now. But after five years, the ratio has been completely changed. Right now, 80% clients are using service now. Only 20% clients are using BMC Remedy. The reason behind it, ServiceNow is a cloud-based ITSM tool. One platform can be fulfill all your business needs. One platform can be provide all kind of services, not only ITSM. ServiceNow, ITSM is the base. But meanwhile, the platform is providing other services also, like ITOM, Operation Management, ITBM, Business Management, ITFM, Finance Management, SecOps, Security Operations, GRC, Governance, Risk and Compliance, HRST, Human Resource Service Delivery, CSM, Customer Service Management, HAM, Hardware Asset Management, SEM, Software Asset Management and many applications are there. One platform can provide all services. So why we need to go for third party applications? Not required. So let me give you the best example to understand about a service now. Service now it's a kind of umbrella. One umbrella may having many applications. For example, if you go to the shopping mall, what is the culture of shopping mall? So customer can find all outlets at single place. If you go to the shopping mall, you can find all outlets at single place. So then what happened? It can save a lot of time for customers. No need to visit different places to buy the different items like mobile, laptop, mouse, keyboard, something. So all items we can find at single place called shopping mall. It can save a lot of time. And meanwhile, so uh, there is no burden for uh, like a traveling. 
right similarly service now also it's a kind of cloud based itsm tool one platform can be provide all applications one platform can be fulfill all your business needs and one more thing also you have to moreover you have to remember guys see one platform can be fulfill all your business needs right and every business unit they must be use one itsm tool in their project without itsm uh, like a gap between the people right so how can we avoid the like a uh, lack of communication how can we avoid the disturbance from the, in between the people so if you are not using itsm tool you are not providing the proper service to your customer you must be use one uh, every client every client must be use one itsm tool it's a mandatory but any client before they purchasing any itsm license obviously they will think about service now because service now is it's a right now it's a very demanding platform in the market okay already we have seen right so if you now get to the uh, like a naukri just you can check it out what are the active vacancies are available on service now platform just you can visit to naukri no need to create any account just you, you can search with service now keyword and click on search option now you can see huge openings on service now how many active vacancies are there 2 lakhs 23830 once again you can refresh the browser see you can find more vacancies on service now platform this is all about active vacancies okay so 2 lakhs 61304 active vacancies are available right this is all vacancies are available the location in india like a uh, Uh, we soft consulting capture mne vipro okay all companies are looking for service now developers and if you want to cross check with any other technologies like let me check with all uh, salesforce total how many active vacancies are available on salesforce 48542 if you want to cross check with devops engineer positions also how many active vacancies are available devops engineer devops engineer and we have to add more tools ansible salt and agio something right gitlab jenkins and click on run so total how many vacancies are available 11815 851 and once again if you want to cross check with service now just you can type the keyword service now you can see huge openings on service now platform that is the demanding of service now guys it's creating more demanding the market right because every client they must be use one itsm tool right so obviously they will go for service now okay so service now is the right platform one platform can be fulfill all your business needs next one so coming to application ecosystem so what do you mean by application ecosystem service now is providing plenty of applications in this slide i had mentioned only few important applications which are using very frequently like incident problem chain the service catalog knowledge management these all are very very important applications in service now which are using by the clients very frequently but here we need to understand about the ecosystem see every application is subscription basis on demand it service management right so depends on your budget and requirement you can subscribe the application and use in your business unit for example let me take a small example you are start a small business unit as per your business requirement so you have to purchase only first to five applications no need to pay rest of the applications and next one is under example i have started a medium scale business unit as per my business requirement i want purchase only 10 applications that moment you have to pay only these all 10 applications no need to pay rest of the applications that is the beauty of service now every application is subscription basis depends on your budget and the client requirement so only few applications you can purchase uh, depends on your business requirement next one instant management problem management change management not required okay next one next coming to that like a uh, how service now is different from other competitors service now is really different from other competitors like uh, so if you go through my documentation to more understand about the like a uh, benefits of service now 
service now is a completely pure internet platform so for example let me give you the more benefits of service now when you want to practice with service now no need to install any software into your local machine everything we can access from the browser you required only good internet connection second point is no need to maintain separate database third one not required any servers fourth one no need to maintain separate infrastructure last one we do lot of customizations in service now existing applications what do you mean by customizations service now is providing plenty of predefined applications which applications you want to customize as per your client requirement we can do lots of customizations in service now as per your requirement that kind of facility also available that's why more clients are migrated and remaining 20% also looking to migrate to service now the reason behind it service now is a completely cloud based itsm platform it's providing plenty of services next one so redundant resident data center service now platform is managing the own data centers and providing native mobile interface customers can use mobile interface to operate service now and uh, google like of global search we can uh, explore more about the global search and uh, drag and drop graphical workflow you can create the workflows to automate your common business process and uh, delegate administration so when we working with the application called user management we can explore more about administration okay next one is coming to releases of service now this is all about service now versions so initially service now has released in 2004 that moment service now is not cloud it's a simple product it's like a called ticketing tool but in 2010 when they had released as a cloud in 2010 it's became more popular in the market and the first version is called aspin when they had released in 2010 after that they had released many versions if you follow my documentation you can find all the versions as of now released by service now b for berlin calgary d for dublin eureka fizi geneva helsinki istanbul jakarta right many versions they had released and the what what is the current version of service now vancouver it has released in 2023 fourth quarter and in this slide i had mentioned upcoming versions also what is the next version of service now this is a uh, washington and after that they can release xanadu akohoma zurich alice cooper and uh, they can release bango tango in 2026 this is all about upcoming versions of service now but here we should remember what is the current version of service now vancouver next one coming to major customers of service now almost all clients domains are using only service now platform as a it sem suit like manufacturing sector entertainment healthcare insurance policies and federal and state local governments utility and energy transportation all the domains they are using service now platform as a it sem tool to automate their entire business process either internally or externally okay but in this course we are going to learn only it sem part guys like uh, some applications are mentioned in the itsm right incident management problem management change management service catalog knowledge management meanwhile cover all the remaining topics which are mentioned in the curriculum okay and the benefits of service now same points i had repeated once again to remember and keep it store in your mind hosted in the cloud it is mainly used to improve operation tracking service now is on demand id service management and it's providing reporting capabilities we can generate any kind of report and service now without uh, depending on any uh, like reporting tools like power bi tableau and uh, we can provide the more security compared with other itsm tool there is no doubt at all and uh, service now can support to integrate all third parties applications there is no boundaries in integration in service now so why to service now if you use service now platform it is reduction of itsm cost by 80% 80% cost we can reduce if you service now because many of activities we can automate right and not require more resources to customize the applications because 80% applications are implemented by service now and 
like a customization we can do as per the client requirement that may depends on your business needs okay how to use from business perspective many departments are using service now platform to fulfill their process like uh, asset and configuration management teams that are using service now platform and a plan and policy define the it strategies and manage internal projects and uh, all it services like a uh, delivery uh, it services and support of your business users and all operation management teams to track and uh, manage the it services and uh, resources and uh, sometimes non it technical services teams also they can use uh, like it sm suit so to provide a different kind of service to the customer who use service now guys employees prospect to employees can use to it process and it support staff also they can use administrators implementators and developers also can use service now platform next one who can learn service now anyone can learn service now platform without any prerequisites don't care about the scripting as well as i said earlier in this course i will be teaching javascript fundamentals also up to required not required complete core javascript don't bother about it just we can use only javascript fundamentals uh, to learn about service now scripting and uh, come to the history of service now service now is a, a cloud computing company headquarters in santa clara which is in us so initially it has released in 2004 that moment it's not cloud and who is the founder of service now is fred lady right so feature of service now asset management so this is all about feature of service now same points repeat once again and uh, he is the founder of service now fred lady uh, bill mcdormand is the current ceo of service now so john don is the old one and uh, what is saas and pass already we know about saas and pass right so software as services and platform services this is all about the uh, examples of saas and pass platforms okay finally come to difference between uh, in infrastructure as a services and platform as a services if you take the example uh, infrastructure as a services so it has to be maintained these all the things but come to the once we come to platform as a services everything will be taken care by service now like a database runtime environment middleware operating systems virtualizations servers storage and a network all the things will be taken care by service now company itself just you have to maintain your applications what are the applications you are subscribed and your data very confidentially right so this is about the brief introduction about service now in next session i will be showing how do we get service now practice environment where we can start practice environment do we need to install any software in your machine this all we can discuss in next lesson thanks for watching my video have a great day